Hey everybody, it's Master Gallengeist here, bringing you my review for Doctor Strange issue 26. And I really enjoyed this issue because it did a good job of showcasing Doctor Strange teaching Zelma about like magical stuff and just really good artwork kind of showcasing the possession and things that were going on with the group that we started off learning a little bit about in the beginning. So in the beginning, we see this group, the Thaumaturge Trivium, and it's these warriors, they're, you hear this whoop whoop, we see that like throughout the panels, and they're like, we gotta get out of here, and this one dude is like, listen, I'm just slowing you down, just leave me, and they're like, no, we can get out of here, and they get to the point where they think they can get out, and it's blocked in, and the, uh, this wasn't for retribution or anything, this was a trap, and of course, the light goes out, and they're like, well, sorry, so then we get to present day and we see that Doctor Strange and Zelma are looking for magical things to increase their repertoire because of how magic is scattered nowadays. So of course he's trying to teach her about like how trying to pinpoint certain locations of things are not really exact because they had to be built somewhere and then it just so happens to pop up here. And of course they're they find this where these, the, the warriors we were following, their tomb pretty much is like, oh, yeah, this was built, and it just so happens to become under queens. It's like, ah, okay. So they go in, and they're like, wow, somebody was trying to get out of here. So, of course, they're like going through, and they encounter them, and they're like weirdly skeletal and kind of on fire, and at first they don't know what exactly to kind of make out with them. It's like, Dr. Strange, of course, is like trying to use this to teach her. Well, Looking at this, it looks like they were, of course, possessed. And, of course, he's, like, doing some more behind the trivium and how they were, like, supposed to be incorruptible warriors and all that. It's like, okay, let's do this because they could hear the wub wub coming. So, of course, Doctor Strange starts teaching her, like, battle tactics. Like, all right, you're never disarmed as long as your po opponent is armed and starts to try and, like, take a weapon from one of them and tries to take out the fireball dudes, like, if they can cast a fireball, you take them out first, it's like, yes, tactics, so, of course, Zelma is, like, in one passageway, he tells her to kind of, like, bring one in, whereas they, like, rain down some rocks on him, and she's like, listen, you gotta watch out for me, I can get killed by that, too, and then, of course, we see Doctor Strange kind of fighting with one of them, and saying, listen, I know you're possessed, if there's something in there, you don't have to fight me, and they stop. And then, of course, he's like, I'm sorry for this. And he, like, takes the staff that they had and, like, throws it onto their head. And Zelma's like, why were you saying sorry to her? And he's like, I wasn't saying sorry to her. And then, of course, Doctor Strange gets possessed because he had figured out that this is something looking for, like, incorruptible and pure souls. And, of course, he's got to figure out what to do with that. And then we pretty much are switching between the Doctor in his kind of like state of being probed by this entity and Zelma having to use the sword to try and like fight him off because he pretty much told her to stay alive as long as possible. So of course he's able to confuse the entity so much and pretty much in his mind contaminate it to stop it. And of course he gets free of the possession and I was like, dude, that was kind of crazy. And what do we do? Should we... At first, it's like, okay, we gotta get out of here, but then Zelma's like, listen, you lost your action, you lost your cloak, we can't leave with less than we came in. And he's like, never been to Vegas, I guess. I'm like, no, we gotta make this worth it. And she's like, alright, maybe we'll find some, uh, Dr. Strange's like, maybe we'll find some more teachable moments down here. And it was just a really cool issue, just showing how the Doctor operates and showing Zelma how the Doctor operates in an active combat scenario. It was really cool, and I really like the use of light and darkness in this issue for kind of like everything going on with the entity, the ones possessed. Also showing at the end them and their souls going to find peace, and like someone being like, yeah, they're pretty awesome. And just seeing them back to their usual selves kind of going off to do whatever that they would need to do. And... I just like how the doctor just tries to figure things out and is try and even though we've seen it in other issues, seeing him show up to Zelma and trying to figure out those kind of things is really kind of cool. Especially when he's like, listen, 
my soul is not pure of heart and like pure and uncorrupted. Nobody said that in a long while. It's like, ah, the doctor's using his weaknesses as strengths and especially since he's on the back foot with his lower amount of magic so far and just seeing him being able to use different kind of ways to beat these magical entities now that he's got to really think is pretty cool and I can't wait to see kind of where they go next. So those are my opinions on the issue. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, also like and subscribe and I hope you have a good day.